Had the shield that the dogs to go away or just run away. A little seven-year-old on the road to recovery tonight after he was attacked by a dog on his way home from school. Good evening, I'm Doug Dunbar. Tonight, you're going to hear from that brave little seven-year-old and his mother. The boy was attacked near his home in Parker County. Doctors say a neighbor, honestly, is probably the person who saved that boy's life. We do want to warn you, some of the images we use as part of the story are graphic to look at, but it tells the story and the severity. Our Alexis Wainwright tonight from Hidden Circle in Azel to show you exactly how he's doing. Connor is in high spirits and happy to be home. <laughs> yes, I do feel better. This one is extremely protective. Seven-year-old Connor Landers has grown up being around dogs and loves playing with any four-legged friend, but... I'm shaking a lot. After being attacked, he's only comfortable with the dogs he knows. On January 21st, a neighbor's dog ran over and attacked him while walking home from the bus stop. And I just yelled at the dog to go away and just went away, came back in one second, ran after me. Another neighbor saw Connor being dragged and jumped in. She hit the dog with a stick to stop it. It was terrifying. The attack left Connor with several lacerations to the face and arms, puncture wounds to his scalp, and bruises on his chest and legs. The yeah. scar right here, actually, it ripped open his cheek. Monday, the Parker County Sheriff's Office identified the dog owner as 49-year-old Patty Jean Bell Neveling. She was arrested on a third-degree felony of attack by a dog resulting in injury warrant. At least I know with her in there, there's not going to be any new dogs. It's a long road to recovery. Connor will have to have another surgery and also physical therapy. The Sheriff's Office has put together a fundraiser to help with medical bills. In Parker County, Alexis Wainwright, CBS 11 News.